So the next thing we need to do now is to create a form. Let's create a login form. Let's put this in the body. So first of all, we indicate the body tag here is in the body. Or let's wipe this away. Click on body here. It comes up. Then bring this one down. So this means body tag means anything you're writing between these tags will show on the body of the website. So now I want I want um the 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 form that I want to enter and I want it to be I want it to be in the center of the body. So next thing to tell it that so now let's tell the web browser that we want this to be in the center. So how do we tell them? By using a centralized tag. So we're putting center tag here. A center starting tag. So what I'm doing now, then we are gonna start. If you open it down, we're also going to close it. Let's put the center closing tag for center. You see the closing tag. So we go to 14 now. Let's start using our form. So to put a form, we need a form what tag. So put in a form opening tag. Form opening tag. Now let us start adding the form. Okay, let's close the form tag. Let's close it here. Form closing tag. Do you see that I play? Let's see what happens. You will not see any change yet. Just like this. So now, let's now start, in, start adding our form. How do we do that now? Now, let us... Let me imagine a font color. First thing now, let me imagine a font color of red. So I put in my font color. So the font color... Remember, I have to put a font color. You have done it before. You put the right font color here. Equals to put your apostrophes. Then write the color you want it to show. Let us assume red. Right. Then you close the tag. So you assume a font color of red. Then Whenever you put the font color, you have to also close the font. See what I'm doing? See, come here in between. So, now what do we want to put as our font color as as, as the first label? Now, in in, in, in forms, we're using label as for instance, we're putting the login from that place, that place, the right enter your username or username. That place is the label. Then what you now put inside the the box there is the login type. Are you hearing me? The thing, the text you are seeing there is the label. But what you are putting inside, what you are typing inside the box is not the login word. The, in, the input type, sorry. The input type. What you are putting, uh, what text you are seeing there is what? The label. So now let us create a label. A label. Let's see, label tag. Is there in the first class I talked to you? See now, let's create the label username. Username. See what I'm doing? Username name is a username like this. See what I'm doing? And you can decide to close the label. But before I can close the label, okay, let's close the label. This is a label. Close this label username. Let's see how it will look like. Let us see how it will look like. And then we play. So you can see how it looks like. So now let us go and uh, put in the input type so that people can type in their username. So you see, go back, locate where we are. This is where we are in the line 16. So let us go down to in, in the input type of this label. Take it down to put the input type now. What do we do? Inside this label, so they have to be inside the label. You get me inside the label. Um, let's just create an input type. Say input type, so people can type in their username. Input type. Then the type. What does what do you want them to type? They can then type a text. Uh, they don't type wordings. A text. 
So you put a plus two. You can put text inside here. So that means they are typing a text. They're not typing password. They're typing a text. If you put password, they should show password. If you put text like this, you have to close the tag too. Close the tag. It's what I just did now. Like, let us play and see what happens. Wow. So you can see that. You can see that. You can see it. Can you see it? You can see it. But when, if you look closely, you see that this is so jam-packed with this login here. So let's put a space between the login and this username. So to create that, we're going to add a paragraph. So let us add a paragraph. I told you to add a paragraph. So between here and here, let us put the paragraph. I told you how to put the paragraph P. So let's play, see what happens. So you can see the space has there's now a gap between them. Good. So let's continue now. Let's just put a label for password. And we are now going to put a label for password and uh, put an input type for password too. So let's go back again. We go to here. We are done with this label. We can add another label if you want. Add another label if you want. If you want to change the font color, you can change the font color by putting the font color again here. Let's put font color again here. Equals to level count color. Let us say this uh, password should be um, yellow color. Let me say, uh, let us see, is the same red color? No, this comes after this. There will be space. So let us put another label for password. So put the label again. You can type in, you can say type in your password. You can write only password. Your password. You can see it. Then let us now put the input type. So let's now put the input type as password. If you want you to be showing that star, 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 understand? So you to be showing star, star, like you want know, to you know, have a password, you will not be showing the password, you will be showing star, 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 star. You can see that I've typed it, I put the input type as password, so when people type it, it will not be, it will not be showing the text, but when, when people type it, show the text, you can put the input type as text. So I'm done with it, let's see how the team will, will play, remember you have to do your own too. Let's play over here. It's not aligned. So you see, it's not aligned. This password is showing over here. So let us rearrange it. So let us rearrange it. So rearranging it, we are going to put a line break over here. Let's put a line break over here. You can see it here. Let's put a line break to break the line so, it, so the two things will not be joining together. And so I'm putting a line break. You can see it. So you can see the line break is there in the in the first in the class where I talked about tax. See a line break, I just put it here so I need to separate to be on the next line. Let's go and see it looks like. Wow. So you can see it's very wonderful now. So you're going to do your own and submit in the assignment section of our portal. Do your own. Remember the former background you use, don't show the background. So now you're going to use uh, a different color here, a different color for the labels. Change the color of the labels, your font colors, change the font, font colors, and it's screenshot this page. And also screenshot your code. You want to send two assignments in this section. Screenshot this page and screenshot your code also and send it to the WhatsApp group as your assignment. Thank you very much. So now let us add our submit button. After this, we will add our submit button. After the line break, let us put another line break here. So it will not be on the same line. Let us put another line break here. Then let's add a submit button by putting under input type. Input type. Input type. Is equals to. Let's put our login.
Tu n'as value. That's what I'm doing now. I don't leave any space. No space is allowed. Even a small space can cause an error in your code. So when you are done, you can see there's no space here. And I'm done. I will just play. You can see it. That's where it is. So what do we do for this to become in the center? Find money. You can see this to be in the center. Mm -hmm. By uh -huh. you know it. By putting a center code, this one will come to the center and stay. But we don't want you to be in the center. Let us shift this username and password and login. Let us shift you to the to the right side of the page. How do we do it? You can do it in different way. You can use align, you can use alignment that I taught you. I put left, thing will go to the left, then we'll use right, and we'll go to the right. Or you can specify the DIV. Let me show you how to specify the DIV. The DIV in, in a non schematic HTML. So let me specify the DIV that will push this over to the left side of the page. So we'll come because we want to, want to push the whole um, username, password, and the login, the whole form. So we are going to go immediately after this form here now. We are going to type in the DIV code that will push this form over to the left or the right, depending. So let us type a DIV ID. A DIV space ID. If you post to, that's what I'm doing. Now, specify the DIV ID. The DIV ID I want to specify is the form wrapper. Specify the form wrapper. So what I so you can see I'm specifying it. Form wrapper means it should wrap the form. First of all, wrap the form before we move it. And the form has been wrapped. Now, which style should they, should they use in wrapping the form? Clean up the space. Now, which style? You put a style. Let me say wrap this form with so style. Specify a style. So it's time for specifying. Equals to and uh, parenthesis. So specify the style. We we'll see put our parenthesis. Put our parenthesis. Let's put a um, maximum width. So five maximum width. In terms of find it, maximum width. Let's set it as um, let's set maximum width fifty pixel. Let's start from there. Fifty pixel. We put because we are not done, so we will we'll see put our semicolon. And we'll set the margin. You can set many things as you want to set. I'll try many things. Let's set margin as 10 pixel and see what happens. So we put our apostrophe, our semicolon. We are done specifying. We will close this. Close out this space. And close our DIV. Close our DIV. Close our DIV. So let us see what happens. I don't see what is happening here. It has placed username and password up and down instead of putting the same line. Now let us now shift it to the edge of the page. So now, in this, once we get to the edge of the page, we will now be trying, we will now be adjusting. Let's be adjusting the maximum width and the and the um, margin. So we'll go to this maximum width. Let us try using. Uh, let us reduce it to. Five pixel and this one has a uh, three pixel. That's what happens. You see where it is.
let's reduce it more and see what happens. Let's put this over to one pixel and change this to automatic. Can you see it now? It has moved. So we we'll change this maximum width to one pixel as the width, maximum width of the form, one pixel. Then we change the margin to automatic. So that's what we did here in moving the form to the left. You can see use your normal alignment by left, center, right to move it. So these are different ways of moving about anything. If you want to move a text, you can see you did the ID to move a text. But the difference is here will become text wrapper instead of form wrapper. So that is how to move a text or, or align a text or align a form or align anything to the particular side of your page. Now we can see login, username, password login. And this other login in, in above. You don't need it again. So now let us go and remove it. Remove it, see, go back to your code, look for it. Where you do type it. Um, look at it over here. So I go there, just clean it, wipe it away. You don't need it again. Wipe it away. So play and see, and see that the thing is no more there. Can see it. Now let us create a line, a, a line that will demarcate the heading because let us then go to the body of our website. Your design want to be more fancy. I change the color, change the font, use the DIV to align it to anywhere you want to do it, or use the use the alignment to put anything you want to put. So you let us create a bold line below this place. Remember why this login form is like this. Uh it will not log into your website because you have not written any JavaScript code beside it. So I will teach you how to put the JavaScript code in the advanced class. It won't be in this class. To be in advanced class, I will put, show you how you can interact with your server. But when somebody types username over here and types password over here, and when person clicks on login, the person will log into their website. That is, we do we do that with JavaScript and PHP. And I will teach you that in the advanced class if you subscribe for the advanced class. Now let us create a line. We'll talk with a line that will that will be below here that will demarcate our header from the, our body. Create okay, a simple line, simple rectangular line. To do that, you have to want the line to appear. You want to need to appear immediately after the form. So when we close the form over here, where do we close the form? You close the form here. Left. Close the form here. See, we'll close the form. So, from here now, okay. Okay, okay, let us put it here. Let us now put a, a rectangular line. To do that, a line use a HR, HR tag. So, you just put HR. It's a tag opening tag for line. Put our let us specify the length. Let our length is equals to specify it. Let our length let us say fifty percent. I use percentage. Let us use percentage. Fifty. Remember to clean up the spaces. Unless you have an error. Clean up this space. Uh, let us specify HR length and specify the color. Remember all the specification. If, if you just stop at the length, it will just be like that. You just stop at HR length and close the tag. Tell us what happened. You just close the tag. You just specify length and close tag. Now let's see what happens here. You see how tiny it is. So you, this is the line. You just have to specify line. And see the line has appeared. Now, but we want to make this line to be more beautiful. So that is why I want to let us I want to add a color and want to add a size. We just add a color and specify the color and specify the size to make it to be more beautiful. So we can go back again. Go to, after this percentage, let us specify the HR size. So inside this HR length, let's specify the color first. Color, 
Let's see the, let's put the color as uh, green. I love green. Just let's say green. Remember when doing your own, when doing your number one advice, but if I not the most put parentheses first. Remember when whenever you are doing your good, be careful of color combination. As I taught you in the graphic design, be careful of color combination. So when when you are when when we select green, I just go and try to take with the thing I'm trying to green. Just go back again and play. You are seeing now the color have changed to green. No more white again. So I don't increase the size now. So what do we do again? We write size. Go back. Do you go back there? Where is it? Over here. With five size. I don't say size as 10 pixel. Then pixel. So this is a 10 pixel. Let's see how it will look like. Size have not changed. So let's go spread or specify the size now. The writing size. What not follows the quality sign? What follows to mm -hmm. you are following? If you are following me. The quality sign. What follows here is. Let us assume 10 pixel, but now we are zooming after we adjust and clean up this. Need this one. Let us play now. You can see how we set the length, set the color, and set the size. Let us see if it, if it has any effect. You can see it. Wow. So I've taught you three things now. I've taught you some things now. I'm looking at this. I've taught you how to write a text in HTML. I've taught you how to align a text to any part, left, right, or center. I've also taught you how to create a form. I've also taught you how to create a button. And I've taught you how to create a line. So these are the things I have taught you in this class so far. So make sure you know this. Develop yourself. The more you practice, the more you learn. You try many things. Get more knowledge and develop yourself on more, on more things you have to do to build a really good website.